I was overwhelmed when I started to plan my blog content. I had so many amazing things swirling around in my head that I wanted to share with other solopreneurs, and I quickly got it all down in Evernote. But then it started to spiral out of control, and I couldn't figure out how to organize all my content so that I could easily plan what days I would blog about what. I became paralyzed and unable to actually write anything or create any videos because I didn't have a plan. If you are just getting started and you feel overwhelmed by how to organize your content and plan it all out, I'm here to help. I'm Laura from solopreneurmentor.com. I have 15 years experience running a successful web development business from home called D3 Solutions. In this video tutorial, you will learn how to use Evernote to organize your amazing ideas into an editorial calendar that will give you a quick overview of your upcoming content and what is left to be done. Let's tackle your technology trouble together. This tutorial is intended for beginners. You can do it, I promise. For this tutorial, you will need an Evernote account. If you don't have one yet, look below this video for a link to sign up for free. Don't forget to download your free Evernote editorial calendar template. Look below this video for details. I absolutely love Evernote. I love that it syncs between all of my devices so that no matter where I am, I can look at notes. And I especially love that when I have a great idea for a blog post or a video, I can quickly put it in an Evernote and then forget about it. And I'm not constantly trying to remember to do that later. What I didn't love though is I just started to feel like all my notebooks were just scattered all over the place. I couldn't keep track of where all my notes were. And that's when I knew I needed to get better at organizing my notebooks and my notes within those notebooks. So the first thing I found that was actually really, really helpful was that you can stack notebooks. I had no idea. So what I did is I created a stack for Solopreneur Mentor and all of my notebooks I put underneath that stack. And so putting a notebook in a stack is really as simple as dragging and dropping it onto another notebook. So to create your first notebook stack, you would drag one notebook on top of another notebook and it would create a stack for you automatically. So that's actually the first thing I wanted to show you about organizing your editorial calendar is I would encourage you to start a stack of all your different notebooks. So underneath my notebooks here, you can see that I have multiple notebooks. So I've got articles that are to do and done, and I've also got videos that are to do and then done. So I have two different types of content on my blog. You may not, therefore you might only have one um, articles or a blog to do and then done. So I find it easier for me because I have different templates that I use when I'm creating these types of um, content. So it's easier for me to keep them separated in different notebooks. Um, so the idea is that I move things from the research or the idea section of the notebooks to to do when I'm ready to start working on it in earnest to get it to get it up on the blog. And then once I'm done with it and it's published, I stick it in the done um, and then I don't have to look at it again. Or if I wanted to go back to it, then I still have it. Um, I haven't deleted it. So that's, that's the purpose of to do and then done. So under the notebook ideas here, I keep all of my ideas, um, a running list of ideas that I can then copy and paste into the to do notebooks when I'm ready to start. Research is just um, people that I follow. If I find some article that I want to keep, things to keep in mind, I stick that in research. Templates is really magical. It's all the templates that I use repeatedly whenever I'm going to, for example, create a video. Um, and I'll show you all the different templates I have. So I really encourage you to keep a templates notebook. And then my solopreneur mentor um, notebook is just kind of for everything else. It's really a miscellaneous category, so to speak, um, that I just keep everything else. So. Let's start with um, the actual editorial calendar. And you can see the second thing I would encourage you to do is go ahead and create shortcuts. And so what you can do is you can either add full notebooks into your shortcuts, or you can add just the, um, the note itself into your sh shortcuts. So things that you're gonna be using quite a bit, you'll wanna put in your shortcuts. So you can see I've got my editorial calendar here. And if I click on it, it highlights it here. Now another word about how I have my Evernote organized is that I have um, it in expanded card view. You could put it like this so that you can actually see it side by side, 
but for the purposes of how I use it, I actually prefer the expanded car view. It helps me see things a little bit easier, um, which I like. So if we open up the editorial calendar, mine looks a little different than the one I am sharing with you um, because I have made the <laughs> obnoxious red here um, for Pinterest and I found I actually don't really like looking at it very much. So I figured you might not either. So um, in your download, it's gray, but everything else is pretty much the same. And you can also tell I have two different blog content types. I have video posts and blog posts. Um, and so this may not fit completely with you, but I want to show you how I use it. And then you can feel free to switch it up how you want to. So the editorial calendar I, I gave you for download is just this one, one four week window of time frame, and it's blank. So it'd be look more like what April looks like here. It's just completely blank. And it allows you then to fill in what um, the week starts on. So uh, every Monday date I put in here, and then um, it allows you too to put in a theme for that week if you want to use that. So I, I do a theme, so to speak, so that I have a way of concentrating on one particular thing for that week. It helps me in organizing my content. And then I've got a goal for each week. How many, how many blog posts am I going to do? How many pins? Now I concentrate on Pinterest. A lot of people concentrate on other things or have multiple social media. I just, just found at this point in my blogging career, I don't have time to keep up with all of it. So I'm just focusing on Pinterest, but you might put in more goals um, than just the 10 pins. Maybe you also want to put in five Facebook posts. Um, and then the idea being that when you've done it, you check it off for the week um, so that you know that you've done it and you can move on to the next week. Um, so I have under here um, like my video post and actually I've got a link to the Evernote that it goes directly to. Um, so I can see that in Evernote quickly by clicking on it. And then you can use these um, up back and forth arrows to move between the, um, the different Evernote notes. This is also a game changer for me once I figured out how to do that. I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. Um, and then I also have blog posts um, here as well. And so then if I've done five pins today, I can check that off once I've done that. Um, you can add as much stuff in here as you want. Um, I would encourage you that if you're going to change up colors and change up your scheme, what I would do is I would go through and delete. Um, I just right clicked on that. And I guess you can't see that, it's off the screen. Delete it, um, tables, delete row, and delete all the rows except for one. Then make your changes. So if you right click on a particular table column, you can actually click on, you can't, sorry, you can't see that either. Click on table, table properties. And then you can see you can change the background color and the table color and all that kind of stuff. And then once you've changed the coloring and stuff, the scheme for the week, then when you go to insert a new row just by hitting the tab that when you're in the last cell, um, you can see it carries over the coloring. So that way um, it's not as easy to use as Excel. You can't select a full column of information and then change it for that full column. You actually have to do it individually, which is a little bit of a pain. So that's why I recommend um, making changes only in one row and then going ahead and hit tab to create more rows with that same color scheme. Um, okay, so that's my editorial calendar um, that I have shared with you and that you can feel free to use how it works best for you. The other thing I wanna show you then is what I do when I'm moving content from idea to the to-do list. So I'm gonna go back to this view and I'm actually gonna go to my notebooks again and I'm gonna to go to my idea notebook. So I've got a bunch of ideas here and what I do is I organize them into the categories that I use for the most part on my blog. And so um, I might have ideas about WordPress. If I double click on that, you can see I've got a bunch of different ideas here. So once I get serious about wanting to do that one, what I would do is I would copy the idea from here then I would go up to my templates and let's say it was a video that I wanted to do. I would go to video template and I would copy my video template by duplicating it. I just right clicked. I'm going to click duplicate note. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change the title to whatever it was 
that I copied before. Oh, I didn't copy that. So let's go back to my notebooks, go back to ideas, go back to WordPress, I'm gonna copy this again. All right, so this is the copied one. It's not the original, I don't wanna change the original. And so I'm just changing the title here. I'm gonna, and I also use tags quite a bit so I can find things easier. So instead of template, then I would take that out. Um, so this is a tutorial video and it's on using theme forest to find a theme. So then what I'd start doing is I would start putting in all of my research keywords as I do the research and have time to do research. I would put in some, maybe some title ideas after I've done some analyzing of my headlines. And then in there, I also have what keywords I'm gonna use for YouTube and for the blog. And then for SEO, what is my focus keyword? Then I'm also gonna have my intro um, and then my slide voiceover and my extra. And then if I have any freebies attached to it, I put it in here as well. And then I've got full checklists of all the things I have to do for YouTube, for my blog, for production, that um, then is copied completely. So all the things I need to remember for every single video is in that video template. So simply by duplicating it then, I then have all of that, got a template to fill out, um, and it makes it so much easier and I don't forget about important things. So then once I've actually filled this out or started to fill it out and I'm ready to schedule it, I can actually do two things, one of two things. I can add a reminder to this note if I actually have a date that I want to publish this by. So it can go two different ways. I can say, I actually want to re a reminder a couple days before I want to publish it so that I actually remember to go back to work on it. Or I'm going to actually use a reminder to tell me when I need to publish it. Um, it's up to you to decide how to use that or not at all. But I do find it helpful to go ahead and set a date. And I'll show you why in a minute. So then once I have that, if I then go to my notebooks, oh, one last thing, I totally forgot, it's really important, is to go ahead and move this from templates then to my video to do. So I just selected, clicked on that, and it tells me I can move it to there. So I'm gonna move it to my video to do. Now, if I go back to my notebooks and go to my video to do, you can see now, because I set a date, it shows up at the top as a reminder. So it's a really quick and easy way to get back to that particular um, uh, no, a note so that I can quickly go back and edit it as I have time. Um, and so then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna create a link now in my editorial calendar. So if you right click on the note, you can then click on either add note to shortcuts if you want to put it in the shortcut which I showed you earlier to do copy note link is what I'm looking for right now so I'm gonna say copy note link I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna go back to my editorial calendar which is in my shortcuts here open it up and I'm going to paste it into where I want it to go so I right click and click on paste and I actually don't like the default green that they give you, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that to white. There, now I've got the blog post scheduled for Monday, March 6th, and I have a, um, a reminder set on it for the 27th, a week out before it's due, so I remember to come back to it and actually create the video and publish and post it. So then once I'm actually done, I've published the video or I've got it all done, it's ready to go, I click on this little check mark to say, okay, it's done. I'll have to look at it again. I know it's done. And then as the week progresses, I can check these things off too so I can feel good about what I'm actually accomplishing in the week and have a plan for the week. So just a quick recap. I highly suggest you stack your notebooks. You create some sort of a system for creating notebooks that easily help you remember uh, what they're for and how you then can use them to utilize um, your content and so you can see it better and know how what you have a plan and a structure going on and then also to use the free editorial calendar template that I'm giving you 
and fine tune it for your own personal business so that you have a clear picture as to when you're publishing posts and what you're doing and what your theme for the week might be and how you're doing on your goals. Um, one last thing I just remembered that really could be helpful. After you've actually created your content calendar the way you want it to look, so maybe you've colored, you changed some colors and you've got your, your four or five weeks or whatever um, for the month, just make sure that you save it as a template then in your own template notebook so that when you need to go back to a blank copy of it, you can quickly copy and paste it in um, instead of then having to go through. So for example, if I just had February up here and I already had stuff in here, if I wanted to copy and paste this, then I have to delete everything out that was already in there in order to just have a blank one to start the next month on. So I would highly recommend that you have a you keep a blank one somewhere around so that you can go back to it. Um, and then also having a couple months in the editorial calendar at a time. So what I'll do then after February is completely done is I'll just go ahead and delete out February. I don't need necessarily to keep a backlog of, of my editorial calendar um, because I have still all of these posts in the done. But if I wanted to keep it, I could copy and then paste February all the way at the bottom of the list or I could have um, another, note, another note for past months if I really wanted to keep a historical uh, calendar of what I've done for my content. So I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that you will get to know Evernote because I really think it's a fantastic program for organizing all your notes, both personal and work related. Um, I love that you can attach things to it. You can create notes. You can even add your own voiceovers. Um, it's really a fantastic program once you figure out how to use it. Um, and I really do think that the editorial calendar that you can download for free will really help you in organizing your content so you can be productive and push out content in a way that makes you feel good, that you've got a plan, and that your audience can um, know when you're going to be pushing out content because you've got this plan. Otherwise, um, it's kind of hit or miss. And I understand. So I hope you feel a little less overwhelmed after this video. We just tackled your technology trouble together. Doesn't it feel good to be able to use technology the way it was intended? Thanks for watching this video and please be sure to check out the additional resources listed below and to share this video with others who need technology help too. Don't forget to visit solopreneurmentor.com to download your free Evernote editorial calendar template and for more tips, tricks, and tutorials on how to use technology to make you a more productive solopreneur in building your online business from home.